Welcome to Delaware County Political News. This is Larry DiMarco, your host. Back in 1992, Noam Chomsky released the movie Manufacturing Consent, a great documentary that was ahead of its time. In that movie, he discussed how the media is an arm of the government and how money ties together big business, government, and the media to the point where they are all one in the same. What was true in 92 when he wrote Manufacturing Consent applies even more so now. As the rich have gotten richer, huge media companies underwent mass consolidation and campaign donations have skyrocketed to heights never seen before. Watch Noam Chomsky explain. The major decisions over what happens in the society, decisions over investment and production and distribution and so on, are in the hands of a relatively concentrated network of major corporations and conglomerates and investment firms and so on. They are also the ones who staff the major executive positions in the government, and they're the ones who own the media, and they're the ones who have to be in a position to make the decisions. They have an overwhelmingly dominant role in the way life happens, you know, what's done in the society. Within the economic system, by law and in principle, they dominate. The control over resources and the need to satisfy their interests imposes very sharp constraints on the political system and uh, the ideological system. The national media sets an agenda that the rest of the local media adheres to. Major news sources like the New York Times and CNN have a special role to create history and shape history by how they frame the stories they report. And they do this in all sorts of ways, by selection of topics, by distribution of concerns, by emphasis and framing of issues, by filtering of information, by bounding of debate within certain limits. Two and a half minutes to air. No. 45 seconds. They determine, they select, they shape, they control, they restrict uh, in order to serve the interests of dominant elite groups in the society. And how does the elite control the media? No need to control. They are one and the same. So what we have in the first place is major corporations which are parts of even bigger conglomerates. According to his research, in 1992, 23 major corporations owned and controlled over 50% of the media outlets in the United States, including movie studios, TV stations, radio stations, newspapers, and magazines. In some local areas, the corporation hold a monopoly. And if that's not disturbing enough, fast forward 20 years to 2012, and there's a dramatic consolidation of power. Now, there are just six media giants who control 90% of what we read, watch, or hear. The same business tycoons who own most of the wealth in the country also own the media giants and also are major donors to politicians. Through the media, they frame the issues for the political stage, whether it's a healthy debate or bitter divide. 